here's a new gadget for me to look at. As a side note, the uh, US store for this Lenovo laptop uh, has it for half the price of the Australian one for the exact same spec. Boo to you, Lenovo. Boo to you. So it's a Lenovo X220 laptop, it's a 12.5 inch laptop, ultra portable with a fairly decent processor, in fact it's pretty awesome. So let's go through the ports, starting on the right side on the top left of what it has, we've got an STHC memory card slot, a yellow USB 2 port which will let you charge stuff in while it's off, a network port, and a 4 pin headphone mic combo slot which is by default a headphone when you plug that in. And I'm trying to hack around here with what I think is the hard drive bay, which you can't take out it that easily, so uh, I'm a bit of a fail there. This is a Kensington lock, if I'm correct. Now here's the back with the battery not in yet. As you can see there, the yellow port is where the power plug goes, as well as on the back here and to the side is the vents for, I think, the graphics card area, as you can see there. Next to that is the USB 3 port, which is blue, a VGA output, as well as a display port output which can be converted to HDMI very easily. In fact, it's a fantastic port. And next to that is a standard USB 2 port with a express card 54mm slot. Great uh, feature to be able to have. In the bottom right here, which I'm going to figure around there, is a, um, a wireless option to toggle on and off. It's a good little touch to have that. So specs wise, this is the i7 model, 2620M. It's the uh, most powerful one with the USB 3. Keyboard wise, you're looking at a very excellent, it's uh, the, probably the highlight of this keyboard. You can see a lot of travel, decent amount of depth to them, except for the top keys up here, which is more standard, more similar to a netbook, which you can press down, more of a chiclet style one. And you can see the rest of the keys up there. The Think Vantage one brought up a special control pad in uh, Windows. That was the fingerprint reader on the right there, and this is the touchpad. It's uh, pressure sensitive, not multi touch though, I don't think and uh, three buttons, middle button typically is scroll and that's the speaker grill just there so let's uh, go have a look at the rest of it, we've got a battery here, this is 6 cell so I get typically around 6 hours battery life so far, maybe 7 this is the power plug which is a 65 watt version and this is about the same as a netbook, it books one except slightly taller otherwise uh, it's much better than a typical you know, bigger laptop like a 14 inch one weight wise it's about uh, 1.3 kilos, so it's it's fairly light. It's uh it's got a good feel to it, and I could definitely carry it along with me. So here's some more photos of the touchpad. I could press down on the touchpad to do a button. Some people don't like that. I'm not much a fan of it either. Screen wise, 1366 by 768. Here's some screenshots of uh some typical websites like Whirlpool and uh, Notebook Review, and maybe a bit of a uh, good old Battlefield 3, uh, enterbeer3.com site. Size-wise, next to an Asus uh, 1005 HAP and next to a 17-inch Asus G73 and also next to a Zepto 6324W, which is a 14-inch laptop. You can see there it's uh, got a fair bit more uh, length to it and it's dwarfed, again, by the 17-inch Asus laptop. And you can see there, surface-wise, much, uh, much smaller. So let's compare the boot time briefly. Roughly around 50 seconds with stock. I haven't bothered to put an SSD in this. It's just a standard hard drive. And finally, I'd also like to compare these screens. Now, the screen I opted for was the uh, premium HD one, which means a HD. Here is the standard laptops one, the 17-inch one, which is a, a TN-based monitor. Now, it discolors when you view it at odd angles. And uh, the... the color quality which isn't as visible here isn't as good as the uh, IPS version which is the Lenovo ones here so overall it's a fantastic laptop and these are my first impressions if you have any questions about this laptop then just drop a comment and I'll see what I can do on here